Inside the Fox 59 studio, welcome to the Friday Night Fast Break. I'm Dave Griffiths, glad to have you here for the next 25 minutes of Central Indiana Hoops. Let's run down what's on tap for the show. A bunch of high school action tips us off, including the reigning 4A champions Ben Davis, looking good so far this season. Girls Hoops coming too, with Hamilton Southeastern proving to be one of the top teams in the state. How about the best of the best anywhere? The Pacers play for the first NBA in-season tournament championship tomorrow. And we announced the winner of last week's fast break play of the game. Those stories plus some major early season action in the Circle City Conference better be ready for a battle between Bishop Chittard and Heritage Christian. That is just minutes away. Ben Davis has won two of the last six boys basketball 4A state titles, including in a perfect 33-0 season a year ago. Giants taking on Franklin Central tonight on their home court. BD 2-1 this year. That win streak snapped already. FC coming out firing tonight. Valen Mosley from the corner for the first two threes to open this game. How about that? Boom, boom. Flashes more from three as Kalen KJ Windham grabs the board, takes it coast to coast. The underhand floater for Ben Davis. He would grab an assist too, Wood Windham. Sets up a Mark Zachary triple. Star on the Giants state championship football team, Mark Zachary. Same duel, let's reverse it. Zachary to Windham. This time Windham hits the three. Giants go on a 13 zip run early. Off the steal, go another way. Justin Parks finishes 57 53, Ben Davis. Jeff Teague and his squad, Pike, hosting Steve Lynch's Brownsburg team. Dogs trying to race a halftime deficit. Grant Porath gets the feed from brother Spencer. Knocking it down from the top of the key. And Porath brothers crucial in getting things going. This time it is Grant in the lane with the right hand off the glass. But Pike playing fast. The dish to Terencio Davis Jr. Off the rim and in. Ties it up at 40. Red Devils making plays on the other end of the floor. One block. Another block. Titus Hunter the second, playing great defense. Finally, Brendan Latimer gets a shot to fall. But at the other end, Pike's offense getting going. Dijon Hill to Hunter. Pike winners, 57 to 50. Lumberjack night at Carmel. Hounds hosting Noblesville. They're all lumberjacks, they're okay. Work all, uh, sleep all night, work all day. What's, how's it go again? Some good momentum for the Hounds. Alex Cotto beating the clock in the first quarter for a pair of points and loved it so much the first time. We'll do it at the end of the second quarter as well. This time from the top of the key, knocking down the triple. Some good momentum at halftime for the Hounds. But it turns out coming out of the locker room, it was all Noblesville. Justin Curry, the second, knocking down three from his own, uh, three of his own. Aaron Fine found him there. And then in transition, Hunter Walston to Curry from the wing. Hits it again. Carmel timeout. 59-34. Noblesville winners. Christmas Addicts got a big win over then second-ranked Center Grove last weekend. Tigers on the prowl on the east side tonight, visiting Warren Central. Third quarter, Javon Guess with the ball for Dub C, looking at his options, drops it off. Robert Walker had a hand in his face. Did not matter. Senior knocks it down. Later on, Ronald Rutland taking it himself. Hits the deck, still gets the basket for Christmas Addicts. Now back at the near side for Warren. Guess at his spot in the block again, this time backing down his man takes it himself for two Warrior points. Warren trying to protect the home floor. Kishawn Harlan does his part. Pull up jumper for two points. Not enough to tame the Tigers tonight. Desmond Briscoe making his presence felt with the two-handed slam. 59-56, Christmas Addicts. North Central hosting former Mick Foe in Terre Haute North tonight, a long time ago, big foe. Tim Williams Jr. hits the Panthers' first points, and here come the stuffed animals. Annual teddy bear toss to help families in need in the district. Later on, Jackson Bell forcing the turnover, and Bell takes it the other way. Delivers the pretty clean finish. Two more points for the Panthers. Still in the first, North Central wreaking more havoc on defense. Pappy Rivera, the long pass, one-handed, right past the outstretched arm of the defense. Gavin Penny finishes. Patriots need a timeout. It did not help them all that much in the second quarter. Panthers running again. Jeremiah Bellamy, the freshman, the basket and the foul. 68-49, North Central. Avon on the road at Terre Haute South tonight. We'll pick up the action in the second quarter. Orioles trailing by one. Miguel Correa to Kendrick Dunmore down low. Avon grabs the lead by one. Now here's Rashawn Bethley 
to Rohan. Pearson in the lane. Give Avon two more. Game will be tied up at 16 after that bucket. And that's when the Orioles go on a big run. They force the turnover. It is Dunmore behind the brave defense. Slamming it home. He's excited, as he should be. Finally, Jedediah Minette connects. The brother of Terre Haute South's all-time leading scorer, Jalen. Avon went on a 16-zip run. They win 68-55. To Class 3A, where Brebuff finds itself ranked 7th. 2-1, win over 4A Hamilton Southeastern was a good win. At home tonight, hosting the Short Ridge Blue Devils. And Brebuff was clicking from the very start after hugs all around pregame. Javon Brooks, the beautiful feed to Reese Butcher for the basket. And then Butcher himself doing the feeding. Finding Evan Hayward in the corner. Hayward feeling it. Celebrating the three-pointer as he should. Later, Brooks with turning defense into offense. The steal on one end to a layup in the other. Braves in cruise control from the opening tip. Here's Butcher, a terrific first quarter for himself. 23-0 Braves after one. 70-31 is the final. The buck. On the northeast side, Circle City Conference action. Bishop Chittard and Heritage Christian. Eagles pushing the pace early. Cole Loudon into the paint in transition. Two points opens up the score. Hot start continuing in the half court for HC. DJ Green dishes to Josh McGee, the sophomore, for three. Give it to him. Green looking to drive the lane again. This time met by Sam Feeney. Stuffs him on the way up, and Feeney has a little something to say about it. On the offensive end, Feeney sets up a screen for Colin Guy. Guy going up strong for the old-fashioned three-point play. Both teams finishing through contact tonight. DJ Green off the dribble once again, and he gets the basket to go. Heritage Christian winners 53-42. to 42. 